We started to see a Shulk play on stream, though. Uh, kind of a rare character at this point. Uh, but a very good character, too. Alright, so PS2 to start. Uh, this neutral exchange is going to be pretty spicy, to say the least. Like, once turn can get in, obviously Shulk is pretty tall. So, combo potential is pretty high. But at the same time, Cardo can interrupt those combos with Shield Minato. Or Shield Art, my bad. Ooh, waits for the neutral air dodge, but... Cardo techs the ground to dodge that just by a little bit. Ah, uh, that speed art. Working pretty well for Cardo to stay, keep things neutral and catching in turn with the falling back air, though. Oh! Man, he's really, he's looking out for these neutral air dodges and he's getting them, but he's just not quick enough to punish. And he ends up losing his stock first because of it. But, let's drop the opportunity for turn. Uh, his third place to be, but he goes pretty aggressive and goes off stage. I don't think I took a game off you before. I don't think you have. Nice, let's go. Um, I will ban Battlefield. But Beat Art coming out, it's a very yeah. neutral yeah. second stock here. It's basically, obviously, a Smash 4 situation. I can't believe we used to play on two stocks, that's insane. But. Buster are could get quite a bit of combo potential when they come to just one or two or three piece combos and just do so much damage, but not gonna get anything started. And catching turns jump and yeah, she's connecting one more forward air is gonna take a very early stock there. Yeah. Alright, getting things started with some neutral airs with Shulk 2. Try to get this advantage shape to even further and kind of avoiding a uh, turn in general. I feel like the spacing opportunities that, oh jeez, that Shulk has can create kind of a vortex of like circle camping essentially around turns options because he has a kind of a stubby sword, obviously. But, oh man, not going to connect the forward tilt or the forward hits from either player here. Okay, but the sliding F tilt, we're going to take that. Second stock off, we're going to be even stocks once again. Um, it seems like turn in general is starting to adapt a bit more. They expect maybe the range and uh, approaches that Cardo's coming with, but at the same time, not be able to space out safely enough to avoid up special out of shield. Cardo might be able to get some more use out of that as well. Yeah, geez, turn seems to have Cardo red when it comes to some of these interactions after jab, especially too. But yeah, there's that up special out of shield once again. Oh man, almost taking it and bringing it back to an even game with that double H dance. Oh, offstage once again. Turn trying to get out of disadvantage. Rolls on and gets it back here. Very tense moments for this game one. Okay. Good patience from both players there. Carter coming in with a... Oh, an outward facing up special. Neutral layer off of the corner too. Hard to punish Shulk from the corner, but oh man, the, the furthest down point of that forward air connecting. Uh, very reminiscent of like a Bowser forward air as well. And... Cardo able to take game one with that offstage presence.
All right, coming in game to game two, we're going to Town and City, which is arguably one of Roy's strongest stages, uh, just because of the double-edged dance or double-edged sword um, being able to take stocks at like 60% on so much of the cast uh, off the horizontal blast and just being so close. At the same time, it does give a lot of stage for Carter to work with, kind of space these neutral areas and other aerials out. Uh, being able to punish Roy out of shield from such a deep place off um, the horizontal hitbox and startup of that up special too. It's pretty surprising, so. Uh, speed Art is out. It's not going to get the highest vertical, but comes back with the up special. Okay. Calls out the double edge dance delay and turn lands on the platform, unfortunately. And we kind of bring them back to the center stage, too. We're still not going to take it either, but forward air off stage is going to call out Cardo. Both players obviously showing that they're willing to go off stage to get those callouts. Back air though, with that intense range, going to even the stock up almost immediately after. Yeah, calls out the neutral air dodge and gets the down throw forward tail. That was a lot of damage from that Buster Art. All right, shield art out. Neutral get up. Easy call out for turn though. Most players, not or like players actually think about what they're doing. Like they go neutral get up and choose an option after that because it's harder to react to. But uh, shielding afterwards easier to catch with a grab. Obviously, we have a two frame window if you want to grab immediately off of a neutral get up. Uh, but if an opponent uh, shields immediately after, you get that grab for free. You get that double edge dance. That time around is going to get the stock off, even though. I mean, most of uh, Roy's options might have taken the stock at that percent. Uh, yeah. uh, Carter working from behind this time around. Uh, whereas Turin in the last game had to work from behind. Let's see what Carter can do. Having to kind of create some advantage to bring things back here. Jump art out. Went super deep off stage to try to punish... Turn and take an early stock. I mean, turn only being at 87%. Carter's got some work to do to take this second stock off. Shield art out, though. Oh, kind of baits him in to approach, though. Okay. Up special is going to send him all the way across the stage. Oh, back air. Really good. Jeez, character competency is switching to jump art so quickly. Okay, neutral air from ledge is going to keep him safe once again. I imagine that's a pretty safe option because you can just, like, do it from ledge, obviously it's a huge hitbox, and then fastball it down, but the neutral get up is going to get caught by double edge dance from Turin there, and uh, the the stage counter pick obviously working so well for Turin, uh, getting some, like, actually I think all three stocks off with double edge dance. Or actually the the one was the, the first one was the off stage forward air, but still the, the ability to just kill off the, the horizontal is so much higher on that stage for, for Roy. All right, so same character selection. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure both of these characters kind of just solo main these um, very viable characters, to say the least. Uh, they can cover a majority of the cast. It's really just kind of about learning at, like matchups in general. All right, up special out of shield is not going to connect that time. Turns maybe starting to catch on a little bit more of what Cardo's approach options and defensive options are. Uh, but it seems to be more of Cardo kind of catching Turin with um, just general good spacing and safe play. Uh, not so much like calling out Turin's bad habits, uh, so to speak. <laughs> Dang, switching the shield art after the right up air before the back air. That was very clean to negate some of the knockback there. But oh, an outward facing up special. Maybe able to get another way away with another one of those but goes back to stage oh barely misses the neutral uh, attack there okay jab forward air that time around 
Maybe just, oh wow, but neutral special gonna connect there. That might work more often than not because Shulk's uh, up special doesn't exactly uh, latch onto the ledge, at least very easily, I don't think. Uh, I think there's a, like a, a proper spacing that like minimizes the amount of time it takes before you latch, but uh, it doesn't latch immediately. The, wow, the smash art taking it with the forward tilt there to even things up, and I, I don't think turn was at, at that high of a percent. Maybe she didn't expect her to was uh, caught dashing out. <laughs> turn going for the cheeky Roy combo, but Cardo switching to the shield. All right, midway through it, he's just so quick to do it. Oh, that's just the neutral get up with the double edge dance once again. Okay, forward throw setting up a off stage opportunity. Outward facing once again goes for a down air, but not going to catch in a trade with turns up special. That move is just so good. Okay, neutral gets up to shield that time around. Oh no, a miss input from Cardo though. I'm sure he wanted to reverse the up special there to get back to ledge. Yeah, not able to get the stocks off like he was before um, with the forder off stage. Uh, maybe turns kind of picking better angles this time around. All right, backer gonna connect. Oh. Yeah, okay, kind of forcing turn to pick an unsafe option though with that air dodge, thinking that he was close enough to get to the ledge, but uh, the overall the pressure was the biggest component there for Cardo. And this game three is definitely within grasp for either player at this point. Ooh, down tilt coming out to play, some spacing on the ground from Cardo. But turn creating a bit of pressure with these Roy buttons. Oh, countering, expecting Carter to kind of hold through. That I respect the option. That was a good call out. But Carter, one of the only times he's ever like actually gone to immediately connect to the ledge. All right, neutral air to forward air. All right, Buster's out. Maybe get, trying to get some more percentage gain. One, I think, down tilt did like twenty percent or something. That was insane. Okay, forward smash. Okay, might have been able to take the game there if Cardo actually faced outward with the up special, but maybe he was uncertain if he was going to connect the move or not. Okay, going to get that up special out of shield though. Smash Art is out. One more hit could take the game. And uh, maybe the reverse hit or the downsize hit of uh, the forward air. They're going to take game three for a 2-1 lead for a Cardo over turn here. Was that the last one you wanted? Yeah. Yeah, rip. Whoops. You gave me the nod, and then you're like, whoa. How is this going? This is. Around three. All right, early percent confirmed there for turn, putting Cardo in a ledge trap situation, turns favorite place to get people. Uh, kind of patient play though, and working around Cardo's ledge options has been actually a more difficult feat than he ex has, I think, has been expecting. It might just be coming down to matchup knowledge though. This potential last game? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But things have been close. Uh, Carter clutched out the last one with the kind of a, a nasty uh, hitbox of the forward air that Shulk has. This is this is a pretty volatile matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Offstage capability that Shulk has to kind of just take early stocks to Ooh, that's... from Roy is rough. Going Buster mode. Yeah, this is big. Yeah, big percent there. And yeah, just to mention the stream too, Gato de Fuego just joined yeah. us on commentary as well. Air dodging in against Buck is so dangerous. Mm. Oh, wow. Kind of just waiting out to see if Turner was going to press anything. He didn't press anything. Hoped to just get back to ledge for free and got called out for it. 
Ooh, okay. I no, switched to the shield. That was very Yeah, deep. no Jair and switching to shield was a good place to be for Cardo. Yeah, switching up his ledge options. It doesn't seem like Shulk has many options at all. But, I mean, the three options that he's used so far have been jump, drop, and then neutral air, and then attack it up. And switching up the timings between those three has uh, proven to be good enough. Oh, and still getting off the ledge, not the, not the greatest. I mean, his, his aerials are nice. He's great at exuding ledge pressure, but not the other really other way around. <laughs> Oh man, but a full stock lead at this point for Cardo and an up out of shield is going to put turn That's a not dangerous. Tough place to be. I'm surprised turn might, didn't want to go for a back air off of the ledge there. Okay, but. Oh, uh, misses the first back air and then hits another one. Yeah, going to chase him down. Roy just has that frame data. <laughs> oh, I missed. My bad. I'll just <laughs> I'll hit just you over again. there. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised up not killing at that percentage. Oh, okay. With a little bit yeah. of rage, maybe necessary. Smash Art taking it there with the, the jump called out. And another great switch to shield. Oh. This is this is where turn really needs to turn out. Yeah. Buster oh, Ruin, yeah, this yeah. Is big. Waits for the air dive. Nice call out. Jeez. All, all made right. all key because Cardo was in Buster mode. Yeah, absolutely. So important to punish. And Turn's been doing a really good job of waiting for Cardo's neutral air dodges, but at the same time hasn't been too accurate with punishing them and ends up just nailing them that time around. Yeah, clutch at the right time. Yeah, but Buster, Buster Troll, you do not want to get trapped by that neutral air because it will lead to grab, and then grab will lead to anything that Shulk wants. Definitely not out of grasp for turn, though, if he gets one combo started. Could lead to making things pretty interesting or here. Shulk, Cardo could end the whole game right now. Ooh, good switch. Oh, shield oh my gosh. Green means go. Jump mode, but probably just a... Oh, crap. The brownies. <laughs> Well, what a little well done, but... We're quite all white, but man, that spicy counter from Carta.